San Marcelino, officially the municipality of San Marcelino, Ilocano, ILIT San Marcelino, Tagalog, Bayan ng San Marcelino, is a first-class municipality in the province of Zambales, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 33,665 people. The municipality is home to Mapanup Lake that formed after the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo. Etymology The town got its name after the first Capitan Municipal whose name was Marcelino. The people of this municipality during that time were fond of saints, so they added San to the name Marcelino, thus making it San Marcelino. The first election was held on January 14, 1906 and Matias Apostol was the first elected president. San Marcelino was Christianized after the arrival of Father Guillermo and after his departure, the people rightfully chose San Guillermo as their town's patron saint. Barangays San Marcelino is politically subdivided into 18 barangays. History Early activities the area that is now known as San Marcelino was originally owned by Sambal-speaking peoples, but over time was purchased and became entirely owned by Ilocano-speaking peoples. Marcelinian civilization, according to old municipal documents, started at the peak of the beautiful Vega Hill in the heart of an idyllic and luxuriant Zambales jungle during the pre-Hispanic settlers from the Ilocos region led by the old corpuses, Udans, Rigadios, Reguinis, Rabanes and Fabunans. With courage, hard work and perseverance, these Marcelinian forefathers harnessed the untouched wilderness of Eagle Hill and its immediate surroundings and slowly converted the area into a pulsating and vibrant community nurtured by the abundant natural yield of what was once an untamed wildlife. Vega Hill reportedly measured 440.94 square kilometers. It used to be one of the three communities that comprised a town. The two others were what are now known as Castilejos and San Antonio. Castilejos was reportedly the hub of leadership because when the Ilocanos arrived in the area, the Tagalog-speaking native residents were already organized. Naturally adventurous and united by their common struggles, the Ilocano settlers eventually left Vega Hill and stayed in Magaring, a place now known as Barangay Linison. This area was, and still is, part of the town. Eventually, the Ilocanos decided to settle at the Poblacion. However, they refused to be integrated into the communities of the local residents. They lived according to their own tradition. They were governed by their obedience to their community elders. When the Spaniards came, a kind-hearted Spanish friar, Father Guillermo, stayed at the Poblacion with the Marcelinian forefathers. In the succeeding years, more Spanish friars came, strengthening the stronghold of Christianity among the Ilocano settlers. The need for formalizing a political, administrative structure of the town also became evident as the population increased and the socio-economic life of the town became complex. Consequently, a government structure was set up under the leadership of the friars whose power, at this point in time, had become entrenched, anchored on religion. The friars appointed local or district leaders, a cabeza de barangay for every barangay among which were Consuelo, Nagbunga and Sinarekan, now known as Linasungan. The number of barangays has expanded to 18 since then. In the settlers. Barangay of Barrio, a middle-aged Teniente del Barrio, Marcelino Ora, was appointed. It was after him that the town was eventually named, long after he was gone. San was arbitrarily added to the name due to the people's religiosity. Domingo Magsaysay and Antonio Rolls later succeeded him. When the barangay needed to choose a patron saint, the leaders chose the priest who Christianized the town, Father Guillermo. A.T.H. The time the priest had already left San Marcelino, like Marcelino Ora, the title of saint was apparently just attached to his name. It was after Marcelino Ora that the town was eventually named. In 1843, the Marcelinians filed a petition for San Marcelino's elevation to a being a pueblo through the Teniente Primero, Antonio Ladrido Giuliano. In 1846, the petition was approved. The elation over the appointment of a local leader did not last long. 
The Marcellinian elders became discontented over the fact that their appointed leaders turned out to be just nominal leaders. The friars still made the decision in relation to important matters. In addition, the friars reportedly became shockingly abusive. In anger, many of the leaders and pockets of townspeople joined the insurrectos, rebel groups. In the forefront were Jorge Udin, Francisco Corpus and Olipia Corpus. Relenting to the demands of majority of the people, the friars later agreed to give the leaders bigger participation in running their respective districts. On March 10, 1852 San Marcelino held its first municipal election for a Teniente Absoluto. At this point, historical records became confusing. The next account has dated January 14, 1906 when a Matias Apostol was reportedly installed as the first elected president of San Marcelino. From then on, the progressive development of San Marcelino continued under duly elected leaders. American period from late 1900 to March 1902, the 25th Infantry Regiment, operated in Zambales, including San Marcelino, during the Philippine-American War, with elements in San Marcelino in December 1900 and March 1902. During this period, the regiment conducted policing and judiciary functions, such as the prosecution of Elias Agpalo. In 1904, due to Act No. 945 of the Philippine Commission, San Marcelino's municipal oversight was extended to neighboring Castilejos and San Antonio. That same year, Ilocano was the primary language spoken in San Marcelino, with Tagalog being a secondary language. Of the Negrito who lived in Zambales, all lived in the jurisdictions of San Marcelino or Batolan. In 1905, in a report produced by the War Department, the area around San Marcelino were used to cultivate rice, and the people were Ilocano. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of San Marcelino was 33,665 people, with a density of 81 inhabitants per square kilometer or 210 inhabitants per square mile. San Marcelino Airfield San Marcelino Airfield was built before the war by the Americans. On the morning of 29 January 1945 nearly 35,000 U.S. troops landed just northwest of San Marcelino. Elements of the U.S. 38th Division immediately dashed inland to take the airstrip, but found that Filipino soldiers of the 3rd, 32nd, 33rd, 35th and 36th Infantry Division of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and the recognized guerrillas under the command of Capt. Ramon Magsaysay, later President of the Republic of the Philippines, had secured the field three days earlier, after the liberation by combined Filipino-American troops in Zambales in 1945, it was developed into a 5th Air Force Command facility as well as an operational airfield. With the end of the war, the airfield was closed and is now part of the town of San Marcelino. Ramon Magsaysay Technological University Ramon Magsaysay Technological University, formerly known as Western Luzon Agricultural College or WLAC, is a government-funded higher education institution in Zambales established in 1910 and converted into a state university in 1998, thus changing its name from Western Luzon Agricultural College to Ramon Magsaysay Technological University under the university system. The main campus of the university is located at the municipality of Iba, province of Zambales. The university is named after the province's greatest son and former president of the Republic of the Philippines, President Ramon Magsaysay. It also has satellite campuses in the municipalities of Sta. Cruz, Candelaria, Masinlac, Batolan, San Marcelino and Castilejos, all in the province of Zambales. The university also offers nursing courses at the Mondrian Ora College in SBMA under a consortium program. RMTU is one of the fastest growing state universities in the country. This was proven when the Department of Budget and Management in 2007 classified RMTU as a level 3A university, thus leveling with established universities in Metro Manila like the University of the Philippines and the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. On February 12, 1998, President Fidel Ramos signed Republic Act 8498 authored by Zambales 2nd District Representative Antonio Magsaysay Diaz. 
The law integrated the Ramon Magsaysay Polytechnic College in Iba, the Western Luzon Agricultural College in San Marcelino, with campus in the municipality of Batolan, and the Candelaria School of Fisheries in Candelaria into a university system known as Ramon Magsaysay Technological University. A three-year transition period transpired before the formal operation of the university in 2001. In the same year, Dr. Feliciano S. Rossi was invested as the first president of the university. Festivals Sinkamas Festival Mango Festival References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information U.S. Amphibious Assault on Zambales, 29 January 1945 PDF. The Reports of General MacArthur. United States Army, 1995